Welcome everybody to one hour of miniature goodness and today is an ultra ultra special show um, we have reached our 700 followers which means that beautiful dragon above will be given away in today's show I am over the moon so today is all about you guys you guys are just amazing all my goblins and followers what you've done is just absolutely it's just phenomenal I'm so happy I want to thank every single one of you it's absolutely amazing that you support me so much um, absolutely wonderful now today we shall be painting some little wolf riders but of course today is more about who's gonna get that dragon <laughs> So I'll try and do some painting, but what I'll do is I'll tell you how this is going to play out today. First of all, let me show you all the dragon that one of you lucky people in chat today will win. And um, what I'll do is I'll show you the dragon for today and I'll show you the finished dragon that I'll be giving away um, when we get to 800 followers. So what I'll do is I'll get my little wheel of pain out. Um, actually, let me say hello to people in chat because it's absolutely zoomed up. Um, well, I've missed half of you. I... <laughs> okay. Um, well, I see, see uh, Red, Red Wolf's is in chat. Uh, Mokai's in chat. Gareth the Star Wars Man's in chat. Uh, the Waffle Witch. Hello, Waffle Witch. I keep on saying Waffle Witch. Hello. <laughs> uh, Mo Brock in chat. Hello. Uh, Bull Gems in chat. Stuart's in chat. Dawn Crypt Monkey in chat. And... and, 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 and did, did uh, anyone else? Oh, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Michelle's in chat. And of course, my Scorpio's in chat. Um, and I think I saw James. James is in chat as well. I can't see anyone else I like. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, Ty's there. And, and anyone else before? <laughs> going. Going. <laughs> and Tal. <laughs> And Rod! <laughs> Rod's in chat. Okay, let me show you the miniature that, again, one of you will be winning today. Let me turn this on. So, this is from the Bones 5 Kickstarter. Um, and, of course, it was um, painted on my show. It's uh, a large dragon. Uh, let me get the four scale as well. So there's the four scale, so you get some scale. It's a beautiful, beautiful dragon. Now what I've done with this dragon, it's mounted onto a 120 millimeter base boss base. Um, hello, Damien. Um, and hello, Zed, Zed Moron, Mormon. Um, so <laughs> this, uh, of course, I started off with dark colors, dark greens, and we worked to some brighter highlights. Um, it's also got clay, I've added clay to the base as well to make rocks. We've got some nice little pieces of wood uh, from my dog walks, uh, which we've added to the base. We've also got some specially made sculpted mushrooms going around the base. Um, thank you for subscribing, Mr. Fish, and well, uh, it's nice to see you, Mr. Fish. Um, and we've also got the twigs. Um, we've got some nice shadings on the actual wood there, nice mossy flavors going around. Um, <laughs> There you are, Ty, I said it again, flavours. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful dragon. So this will be given away today. Now what I'll do is a little bit later on, in about, what time are we on now? Like I say, it'll probably be a fast stream today. So in about 10 to 15 minutes time, in 10 to 15 minutes time, what I'll do is I'll ask you all to type something in chat. And what Claire, my partner, will do, my partner's in the other room, and she's got one of those little computery little things that takes all your names and it spins a little wheel so what she'll do is she'll, she'll take all your names and then of course um, she'll pick the the winner will be picked from this spinny wheel and then she'll give you to tell tell us who the winner is so this is going to be today's ultimate prize I am so so happy we reached 700 and I'm so happy I can give this to you guys Thank you for subscribing to Waffle Witch, and I'm so happy I can give this to you guys to say thank you um, for supporting me. Now, of course, I can only give this to one person. I would absolutely love it if I could give each and every one of you one of these dragons, but unfortunately, I cannot. <laughs> 
Okay, so what I'll do now, as you, this is, so this is the dragon that's going to be given away today. Now, I'm hoping most of you will stay with me. And to encourage, to encourage, <laughs> to encourage you to carry on and enjoy my show and everything else I do. When we get to, let me show, get down here. When we get to 800 followers, when we get to 800 followers, this will be the next giveaway. Now, this is my... This is my ice dragon. Again, this one was uh, painted on my show, um, and it's all finished now. Um, we've got artificial snow, we've got some nice wood, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful dragon. And again, this one is from the Bones 5 Kickstarter. Now, I used some nice light blues on this miniature, and then highlighted with the whites, and it just come out an absolutely beautiful dragon. I, I'm I, over the moon with how the blues coming out on this dragon. So this will be, again, uh, given away when, when we get to 800 followers. So every time I get to 100 followers, I'm planning on giving away another dragon or some kind of big monster. But it'll always be a nice big mini. <laughs> oh, the bulgy M's goblin boss. Okay, so this is the this is going to be like say for the 800. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I will start painting up the little goblins um, and then of course we'll start uh, working on that giveaway. So let me just take this out of the way. And once again, I really do appreciate all the support. It's been very, um, it's, it's, it's been quite difficult for me to do um, Twitch streams um, as I do um, get very nervous. I. I used to have a lot of anxiety, but I'm getting better all the time. Um, and now um, I'm almost, you know, getting on with the job and it's like, yay. <laughs> but when I first started, it was very, very scary. Um, and it still is. Uh, I still get the butterflies in the stomach before each show. Okay, so let me zoom in on this. Let's get some focus. Now what we're doing today is some um, wolves and some little goblins but we need some focus because they are very very tiny it might be difficult for you guys to see it all today and there we are so these are the little wolf riders this these are sculpted by bobby jackson from reaper miniatures i will probably probably use these as warg warg riders for my lord of the rings games um i think they'll be great alternative miniatures for the goblins in lord of the rings Rod taking notes. <laughs> now what we're going to do, uh, paints for today, I got some vampiric skin, I have some jungle moss and some cat's eye green. We'll be mixing these two together for the goblin skin. Um, and we got some white, dragon white of course, but what I'll do is I'll fill up my palette and then we'll make a start. Thank you, Gareth. Yes, um, uh, Reaper Miniatures have got some very, very cool um, uh, miniatures that you can actually use for your Lord of the Rings games. Um, and uh, I know I know Gareth and Tim um, and Rod, we've all been kind of going through the Reaper Miniatures, uh, trying to work out what miniatures would be best for like a D&D &D version of Lord of the Rings. Um, and that's been great fun. Okay, let me fill up my palette, or we will not get anything done. Okay, now I'm going to give it another another five minutes, another five minutes, and then I will ask you all to say something in chat, and Claire will take all your names. Now you can only you can only win the dragon if you are in chat and you say what I ask you to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm not going to say it yet because you'll all say it before. <laughs> And then Claire will get confused. <laughs> right, I'm just filling up the uh, palette here. Like, I won't be long. Um, it doesn't take me long to paint these miniatures, so it will be a flying thing.
Okay, just a little bit of paint. Now, what we're going to do is just start with the walls. Very, very simple. I'm using the va vampiric skin for the walls, and then we go straight into white. Now, this morning in Scotland, this morning in Scotland, we had snow everywhere. And there's a good four inches of snow where I live. And it's already all melted. It's all gone. It's all gone. So this morning I run up, run off into the snow. <laughs> but it's, already, it's gone already. It's like, no! <laughs> yeah, I love my snow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Michelle, you are on form, my lovely. <laughs> Okay, now for these little, let's get focus again. Right, I'm going to try and keep it in focus here. Paint palettes, paints are on the palette here, so you can just about see them. But we shall get some focus so we can speed paint these little Bobby Jackson specials. Very, very simple. I've got a nice big dry brush here. Let me just get some room, excuse me, mumbling to myself. And we're just going to the vampiric skin first. I'll try and keep it in focus. You'll have to excuse me if I keep wobbling everywhere. <laughs> hello, Renegade Shank. And hello, Deadly Marvel. Okay, very fast, going over lightly with this first initial coat. Um, as you all know, I use the darker colours to um, use as a shade on all the miniatures I, make, I paint. Um, it really does help, uh, makes things very, very simple um, if you use your initial primer coat um, and work out the colours from your initial primer coat. Now, I didn't actually tell you, for the primer coat for the wogs, wogs, for the wolves, I used shield brown. And for the goblins, of course, I used my favourite, which was the wood stain brown. And I'm sure Rod would want to know that one. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. They do now. That's all I'm going to see now, Red Wolf. Okay, people, right. I've made you. I've made you wait long enough. I've made you wait long enough. Um, I don't want to um, make everybody uh, freaking out. <laughs> so what I want you to type into chat. Everybody has to type this into chat if they want to win the dragon, and it's very simple. Just type into chat. Give me a dragon. Give me a dragon. Claire will take your names. Claire will take all your names. Thank you for subscribing, Goblin Emperor. That's my dad in chat, by the way. So everybody say hello to my dad, Goblin Emperor. Um, now, we will. I will be going to see you tomorrow, Dad. Rain, shine, or snow, or sleet. Um, so that'll be an adventure on my little trike tomorrow. So there we are. Just, just by adding this one dry brush, it already looks awesome for these little walls. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm starting to add some dragon white into the vampiric skin. So we've got like a 50-50 mix. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, Volo, Volo. Um, yes, these walls come in a two-pack. Um, very, very nice. They are the Bones USA versions. These are the Bones USA miniatures. Uh, they come in this two in a pack. Um, now, I get them from the UK site. Um, they're, probably, they're definitely cheaper on the USA um, website. Uh, but you can get them from all the webs, uh, Reaper web stores. There is a link below this uh, channel to the Reaper site. But yes, very nice. You get two in a pack. Um, I think I paid seven pounds, seven pounds for two. And of course, the the actual Reaper Bones USA, in my opinion, are the best 
uh, sculpts possible that Reaper have done. Um, I, they are the best quality, I should say. Um, they, are, to me, they, they're the same quality as metal. They will not be better than metal, in my opinion, because I've always preferred metal uh, because of the weight. Um, and there's just something about metal miniatures that you can never take away. But these, the Bones of the USA miniatures, are definitely, definitely the closest you're going to get to a metal miniature, in my opinion. Uh, very, very highly detailed sculpts. Very beautiful. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous miniatures. And I also like the new direction as well. Bobby Jackson and Reaper are doing with the bases, uh, with the dungeon dwellers from Reaper Miniatures. They go on all these lovely little oval bases now. Uh, so all the collection from the dungeon dwellers collection from Reaper, um, all the bases are matching in really nice. Um, and I think that's just a wonderful thing. Now my partner, Scorpla, she should be taking down all your names now. And um, what, it's going to take her a while, so bear with me. Uh, but once she's got all the names and uh, she's got everything sorted out, what we'll do is a little bit later on in the show then, she will spin the Wheel of Pain and um, she'll, she will announce the winner in chat for you all once she's ready. Uh, so give it 10, 15 minutes and I'm sure... Someone is going to be a very, very happy bunny today. But just remember, you do have a chance to win a dragon or a monster at every eight, every hundred followers I get on my channel. You do have a chance of actually winning a beautiful miniature. Now, all the miniatures that um, are won on my show are posted worldwide, free of charge. So there's no added costs or anything. I pay all the... I pay all the postage fees, so you don't have to worry about postage fees either. Okay, so these little wolves, I mean, all I've done is, um, I've gone over with the dry brush. Um, you've had one first coat of vampiric skin, second coat 50-50 mix vampiric skin with your dragon white. Um, now for the final, we are really just going pure dragon white and just hitting the tops of the fur, top of the head there. Just taking over the ears and the tail. And that's all we need to do. You've got a lovely dark undercoat uh, to the walls. And we have a lovely fur effect going over the walls. Very, very simple to do. Um, and it just it's just a lovely little effect. And it's fast and easy. Yes, um, collecting, uh, Volio 14, um, collecting paints for me, collecting paints for me is really <laughs> just as bad as collecting miniature miniatures. Um, I'll see if I can show you quickly around my room here. That's my, these are my uh, Reaper miniature paints all along the back there. And then it goes into Vileco paints. And there's a, that, that was painted by Gareth, the Star Wars man, by the way. Thank you, Gareth. Um, he watches me paint. <laughs> um, and of course, I got all my old... Uh, at the top there, we've got all my old Games Workshop 90s paints. So yeah, um, it's absolutely, uh, absolutely awesome stuff. Okay. <laughs> yes, collecting paints um, can be... A, is a hobby in itself. Um, and I absolutely love collecting paints. But, I mean, you can get away with all the prime colours if you wanted to. But, of course, there's nothing nicer than buying a nice little paint set and having specific, specific paints for your miniatures. Uh, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I, I painted the um, Reaper Miniatures Goblin paint set. Um, and that was great fun to have all the paints for the goblins. Uh, but, of course, today we are doing green goblins. Oh, no, 
knife. Knife is copper embossed. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I do, Renegade Shank, I do. I do have the elusive drow nipple paint. <laughs> and for anybody that's wondering, yes, it's a real paint. <laughs> now, getting off the subject, because Renegade Shank always likes to bring me into the embarrassment zone, um, we shall get some focus on these goblins. <laughs> and Michelle, boss paint. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some. Yeah, perfect. Now we got some. I gotta see if we can make sure my hands are nice and steady. Now for these goblins, again, I need a little bit of tissue just here. Well, now I'm a. I paint a little bit different. My way of painting is a little bit different than most people. I actually like to add my paints to a tissue. Now a lot of people say to me, "Why do you add your paints to a tissue? Isn't that going to dry them up?" It's just, it's just the way I paint. Um, it's the way I've painted for many, many years. Um, and I just add the paint onto my tissue here. And then I'll add some of the other paint and mix it on, on my tissue there. It's just habit more than anything else. But it actually works very, very well for what I want to do. So initially, for our goblins, we are starting off with some jungle moss. Um, and we're going to use only jungle moss for the skin so what we'll do is we we'll fly over the skin it's already dark uh, so very simple we are going to use utilize the actual browns so we fly over all the skin areas uh, leaving a little bit of that brown showing because uh, we can utilize that into our shading in a minute uh, very simple and fast paint to do little goblins Now, like I say, it starts off very dark, uh, but this is what we want. Uh, we want a nice dark green to start with, because uh, that's working with our brown. And the brown is the Woodstained Brown from Reaper, which is a lovely dark brown. And I love using the actual brown on all my miniatures. Um, it works brilliant for doing wood and priming your minis. Now, as always, once I've finished all my little miniatures, um, I will make a little 360 of the finished miniature and then I shall post it onto YouTube so you can actually see what the miniatures are like finished. Um, but what I try to do in each show is show you a little bit of what I'm doing. Uh, sometimes I get the whole miniature finished, um, but in each show I try to show you something a little bit different. Um, all my painting is based on speed painting. I got hundreds of miniatures, so I try to work out the fastest way to paint the miniature and to keep it to a tabletop standard so it actually still looks really nice on your playing area. Um, because most of you out there have probably backed the Reaper Kickstarters uh, and you all know how many miniatures you get in these Kickstarters. There is no way you are going to be able to paint every single miniature to a showcase standard in your lifetime. <laughs> and I mean, we've even got Bones 6 coming out in March. So we are, you know, it, it, I, I still got, I still got some um, miniatures, the same as Snaif, the Goblin Boss Snaif. I've still got miniatures from the very first Kickstarter that I still haven't painted. Um, and I paint hundreds of miniatures. Um, so if I can't get all these miniatures painted, um, then it's it's <laughs> it's going to be difficult. <laughs> it's going to be a difficult one. Um, what what uh, normally happens when you get the kickstarters is um, you you you'll, you end up picking out your favourite looking miniatures, and this is what you probably all do because I do it myself. You'll get your Kickstarter, you start picking out, oh, that's a nice one to paint, I'll paint that one, I'll paint that one, I'll paint that one. And by the time you get to, you know, the kind of, as I call it, the dregs at the bottom of the bot bottle, <laughs> you've got, you don't really want to paint the last ones. And by that time, the new Bones Kickstarter is out. 
so they they get for, <laughs> they get forgotten forever. <laughs> Moss green is a beautiful dark green. Um, but, uh, it's, it's, it's a it's a it's a lovely it's a lovely colour for a primer um, for use in for your initial coat for any of your goblins. As you can see, it's a lovely dark green. What I'm doing now is I'm adding a 50/50 mix of the uh, jungle moss and the cat's eye green, and just make, just highlighting a little bit more. Now I'm making sure I'm not overloading the brush. Now the reason for this is because they're such small miniatures, if I overload the brush now, what will happen is instead of getting a different colour, we'll get an overloaded miniature and it will start looking blotchy on the miniature. So we try to keep a nice thin coat but with a nice colour. Now I'm just going over the highest areas of the mini and slowly picking out the green on the highest colour and it just makes it a little bit lighter same on the here top of the head back of the ears nose chin cheeks Go over the fingers there very fast simple all the muscles just the highest areas again I'm just mixing a little bit more so it's 50 50 we've got that lovely bright green and I'm just highlighting it with the Naga Green uh, and the Jungle Moss. So it's roughly a 50-50 mix on my tissue there. And what happens is it will actually blend in as it dries. But of course it gives a lighter highlight each time we pass over. A very fast and simple way to get a nice skin tone for your goblins. Let's go over the back area here. Now we don't need to do it a lot. What I do here is I'm just going over the highest areas. And what we'll do is we'll do one more pass. And what we'll do is we'll do a 75% uh, mix with the Naga Green and this dark green mix. And like I say, it is a very, they are very small miniatures. I hope you can see roughly what I'm up to. Um, and also, because I used that lovely wood stained brown to begin with, as you can see, as we're painting the actual green, the boots are in leather. So we've got the brown there. We've got the uh, pants and the straps. Um, so painting brown really helps and make a fast job of what we're going to do because we don't need to do anything to the brown areas apart from add a little bit of lighter brown like on the boots and, and places like that and they'll be all done let me just drink some of my Ribena wine Now I, d I don't uh, don't know if my uh, my partner Scorpler can hear me, uh, but if if Scorpler wants to um, do the uh, wheel of pain in a, like five five minutes time, Waffle Witch, I totally agree. Um, I have always been a green goblin fan. Um, I did enjoy painting those uh, yellow goblins, as I call them, on the other show from last week. But um, goblins to me are green, um, and they always will be green. Um, and there's, no, there's nothing wrong in having all sorts of different colours of uh, goblin, but uh, green is definitely my favourite. Yellow goblins are basically D&D &D evil goblins. Yes, they are Red Wolf. Folio 14, I like that. I like that. Okay, final highlight. Uh, it's just quickly going over the green areas. Now, with this goblin uh, green, as I call it, there is um, a little trick um, to finish off the goblin green, but this is later on. I don't know if we will get to that stage today. Thank you for subscribing, Ty Varys. 
Now what we're doing is just hitting up the goblins on the ears, top of the forehead, and just around the top of the thighs, just on the old hands there. If your paintbrush is splitting, like mine is here, all you need to do, all you need to do is give your little brush a wash. Give your, give your brush a good little wash. And go to your tissue, and then spin the brush and pull back. Spin the brush and pull back with the actual paintbrush. And it should make it nice to a nice point again. It should do. <laughs> now I'm using the Reaper Pro brushes. Um, I think they're very, very nice brushes to use. So I'm going to the final highlight now. There's a tiny little bit just on the edges of Top of the nose there. I say these are very, very small miniatures. Um, these ones are about the same size as the goblins I painted uh, last week, except these ones are in a sitting down position. But they are beautifully sculpted. Right, okay, so has everybody, has everybody put give me a dragon in chat? So, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna watch chat for five seconds. And I'm gonna make sure you've all been added. He says as he starts painting his goblins again. Let me just finish these off quickly. Okay, so that's the skin on the goblins. Very, very simple. And the wolves. Okay, let me see chat. Right, give me a goblin, give me a goblin, give me a goblin, give me a goblin, give me a goblin. <laughs> goblin. Now, Claire, my, my partner, Scorpio, she hasn't said anything yet. Uh, when uh, she hasn't said anything in chat about being ready yet, has she? So, Scorpio, you got me right. <laughs> I'm sure she hasn't forgotten you, Mockery. Okay, I'll give it a few more minutes. What it, what it is, um, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there we are. There's Scorpion now. Yep, got everyone so far. Now, I'll give it another couple of minutes to make sure everybody has entered. Um, and then Claire will uh, spin the wheel and we'll see who has won the beautiful dragon. Okay, what I'll do while I'm waiting for uh, Claire. Like I say, today's today's stream is really all about you guys and giving away the dragon. I'm just painting these beautiful little goblins as a little side quest. <laughs> Give me a... Renegade Shank! <laughs> Right, for <laughs> yes, um, uh, we haven't for we haven't forgotten about uh, Tim Rod. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do, um, I'm using the shield brown, a little bit of shield brown, just a little bit there. And what we'll do is I'll just paint in the little leather areas of the brown. And now this is the shield brown that I used initially for 
Um, I used initially for the actual in undercoat for the wolves. Now, there's a very, very simple highlight on the brown areas. So we've got the little boots of the goblins here. So all we need to do is just gently go over the tops of the boots with this brown, even that dark underneath. And what happens, it just gives it just gives a nice little added extra to the boots. Because the miniatures are so small, <coughs> excuse me, because the miniatures are so small, we don't need to go mega highlighting because you're not going to see it on the tabletop anyway, but you still want those miniatures to look really cool. So what we do is all the little leather areas, we just add a little hint of this shield brown, and it just gives a two-tone effect to all the actual pieces of leather on our goblins. Very simple highlights. Just by adding a lighter brown, it just really adds to the miniature. Now this miniature, we'll do some silver for the actual axes there. And he's, this one's got a little, like a silver medallion. And but what we'll do is we shall paint the goblin's eyes because uh, the eyes are very important on our miniatures, of course. So we've got, and, and we have got some um, dragon white on my palette, so it's, it's a shame to waste it. Again, I'm going to use this brush. Now, I don't recommend this at home, guys, but I'm actually putting the, the paintbrush in my mouth after I've washed it. And this is just to give it a really, really nice tip for the actual dragon, dragon white. Okay, so little goblin eyes, we just go straight in with a little white there. There we are, the little eyeballs are in doesn't take long just little little blobs of dragon white in each eye and what we do now because it's such a small amount of paint it's kind of dries instantly we go straight into our dragon black now for goblins eyes you can actually use red or blue um, I just like to use black now I got a bristle on this brush that's poking out so I'm not happy with that uh, you will grab another one, excuse me. Let me just go and grab a brush without... There we go. No, not that one. Monkey brush. Oh, here we go. Lovely. Good. Okay, so we're going straight into the dragon black. And this is just for the pupils of the little goblins. Uh, tiniest, tiniest. You've got to keep your hand super steady. Straight in. Boom. Done. Straight in. Bing. All done. There you go. Back into the black. And these eyes here are lovely. They're really wide open, so we can easily get a nice little black blob in there and like so so there's our little goblin eyeballs in I don't know if you can see that but they're all in there <laughs> that's our like goblin eyeball stuff okay Scorpla are you ready to announce the winner <laughs> yes, 
yeah, what um, what I do for this size miniature now, uh, some very very good professional painters like Rod the Bender and a few others I like to mention, um, they will actually add another tiny 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 little speck of white to give a reflection to the eyeballs. Now, I actually um, use a gloss varnish. Uh, it's so much easier. <laughs> so much easier. <laughs> so all you need to do is add a tiny little bit of gloss varnish to the pupils, to the eyes, to the whole of the eye, and that'll give a reflection. And I do that to all my miniatures, and it just it just works a treat. I haven't uh, Volio fourteen. I haven't seen any um, speed painting ranges on offer. <laughs> Actually, uh, Naif, you, you're talking about um, painting um, a reflected forest in the white dot of the eye. I know you're joking at that, but I have seen some professional miniature painters, and they have done um, suits of armor. You know, really nice bright suits of armor and what they've done they've actually painted the um, the reflection of the world that's that the armor is reflecting onto the armor uh, it's just phenomenal it, uh, what some people can paint it just blows your mind mind away yes there's Scorpio. Right, okay um, okay everybody keep your fingers crossed um, Scorpla will now spin the wheel of pain. I um, uh, good luck to every single one of you, and again, thank you all so much for supporting me. And um, let's see who uh, let's see who's the, who's the winner. <laughs> oh, it's gone silent. <laughs> Oh, she's a tease, honestly. Oh, countdown, countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well done, Red Wolf. Oh. <laughs> Congrats, Red Wolf. Well done. I will get that dragon sent to you um, this coming week. Again, thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel. Um, it's absolutely fantastic that you've all been here and supporting me um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say congratulations once again to Red Wolf um, and what we'll do is we shall end the show um, here um, because it's all just too much <laughs> it's, it's all too exciting um, what I'll do again before before I, before I say goodnight to everybody um, I shall show you what you can win when we get to 800 so i'm hoping you all enjoy my shows um i try to make the shows as interesting as possible and i try to do something different on each show um thank you so much scablam 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 thank you for following as well um so i do try my best to make it uh, an interesting show and maybe show you little things and if i if i if you get inspiration and things that's fantastic um, but like I say, every Mondays and Thursdays, um, I do my show. So once again, this will be for the 800 followers. And we'll do exactly the same. Whoever's in chat answers the question and gets on the spinny wheel will win the dragon. So once again, thank you all so much for popping on and supporting the show. Love to every single one of you. Take care out there. And I shall see you on Monday. So, good night, everybody. You take care, everyone. Oh, 
awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Skeblam. And congratulations again, Red Wolf. You lucky devil. You lucky, 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 lucky devil. <laughs> you can have a huge dragon collection. You know that. 